What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video and today we are going to be doing two different things in this video. Number one, we are going to be talking about a giveaway that I'm doing on my channel and number two, we're also going to be talking about the lineup update for my Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Some of you guys have been asking for that so I wanted to make sure to give you the guys some of that as well. Now first things first, I want to get into this giveaway. So. For those of you who are longtime subscribers to my channel, you probably know that I don't do a whole lot of standard giveaways. And part of that is because I want you guys to be a subscriber of mine because you like my content, not just because you're wanting to win shit. So um, that's one of the big reasons. But the real reason that I don't do a lot of giveaways is because I'm actually spending a ton of coins doing these pink slip videos. And uh, I've lost probably, what, 400 or more thousand worth of coins at this point on pink slips. So I've done some, technically done some giveaways in that way. Not to mention the coins that I lose when I actually sell the cards just based on the 10% tax that the auction block takes. So, it, you know, I've been trying to make sure that I leave enough coins in my bank so that I can actually do pink slips going forward and make sure that all the way through the remainder of Madden 25 that we're still going to be doing pink slips. So this is an opportunity today for me to do a real giveaway just like you see on other channels and the reason for it is because I had a, a subscriber contact me the other day and he asked me if I basically wanted his entire Madden 25 Ultimate Team roster. And typically I don't accept this kind of a thing because I, I just, to me, I don't really see the point in having an all 99 team and I don't want people to be like, oh my gosh, Nick has the best team because people just give him stuff. Well, that's not really the case. Um, I've been given a few things by people, but not really anything that spectacular. Most of the cards that you see on my roster, I've acquired myself. So... With that being said though, this guy actually contacted me and I told him what I wanted to do was give away the best cards that he had um, and get, have him get something for it. So what I'm doing today is I'm gonna give away the two cards that he gave me, the two best cards that he gave me, which are 99 Pro Bowl Jerry Rice and 99 Pro Bowl Deion Sanders. This Jerry Rice card has 95 speed, 100 catching, 98 release, uh, spectacular catch of 95, 99 catch in traffic, 99 route running. It's an absolute beast of a receiver. Definitely one of the better receivers that they've put out outside of, you know, the, the real top ones, the sparkle cards and stuff like that. It's, it's not quite on par with those, but it's that next step down. Certainly, a, a definitely an amazing receiver. And uh, he would certainly be the number one wide receiver on my team right now if I were to keep him. Then the other card is this 99 Deion Sanders Pro Bowl card. Um, and again, this was the best cornerback in the game for months before they put out like the golden tickets and that kind of thing in the sparkle corners. Aside from those, this is um, an amazing cornerback card. 99 speed with 99 man and 99 zone coverage. No matter where you use him, no matter how you use him, he's going to be amazing for you. He also has 98 play recognition and uh, 98 awareness. So He's going to get unbelievable interceptions that none of the other cornerbacks that you probably have on your roster are getting. I mean, this thing is an absolute monster. Don't be worried about the 42 tackle because I know that sounds horrible, but trust me, he still makes tackles. I don't understand it, but he does. I, I don't think that the tackle attribute in this game is particularly relevant. Um, the hit power certainly is, and I don't think this card has great hit power, but regardless, it's this is an amazing cornerback card, arguably the best cornerback for, like I said, for the majority of month. So this is a card that I think you guys are going to like. He'll start, he would be, again, just like the Jerry Rice was, would be my number one receiver, this would be the number one corner on my team if I were going to keep him. So definitely amazing cards. Thank you to the person who is giving away these two cards is actually Real Sunny D. S-U-N-I is how you spell Sunny in his name. And that's on Twitter. So if you guys are interested in joining this giveaway, if you're interested in entering it, I need you to do three things. Number one, you need to follow me on Twitter. And the only reason you need to follow me is because I'm going to be direct messaging the winner. If you guys want to unfollow me after that, whatever, that's fine. But the second person that you need to follow is Real Sunny D, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to his Twitter account. So make sure you go to his Twitter Twitter account and follow him. 
If you're not following him, you're not going to be entered. If you're not following me, you're not going to be entered. The last thing that you need to do is in the comment section of this video, I need you to leave your PS4 username so that I can give you the card if you win. And again, if you're not following the two people that we listed before, me and the real Sunny D, you're not going to be entered into this contest. That's all you need to do though, nothing more. We're not gonna be playing any games. It's not like pink slips. This is a standard giveaway like you see on other channels. So thank you to Real Sunny D. I do appreciate it. This is an awesome giveaway. Both these cards are going for like 90 to 100,000 coins. So, I mean, it's like 180 to 200,000 coins worth of, of cards being given away in this giveaway. So please, if you guys would, give him a shout out. Follow him on Twitter. Thank him for giving away these cards because it, it really does mean a lot to my channel and I hope that it means a lot to you guys to have this opportunity to win these two really awesome cards. Now, the second part of today's video, I wanted to do a lineup update. So this is my new starting lineup as of today. As you can see, my team is still a 94 overall. I still have some improvements to make. Um, like I said before in, in other videos, I don't feel like I lose games in this game because I don't have as good of a team as other people most of the time. I honestly feel like when I lose most of my games, it's simply because I'm not as good as the other person that I'm playing against. So I, I to invest millions and millions of coins into this game or hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars as other people do, I just don't see the point of it. To me, I, I think that I just need to improve my skills and the cards that I have for the most part are gonna do a good enough job. So with that being said, let's take a look at it. My updated offensive line, I still have the 94 overall Football Outsiders Tyron Smith. This is my left tackle, very, very good card. 98 Logan Mankins, uh, another Football Outsiders card. This is actually a left tackle card that I put at left guard. Uh, he becomes a 98 at left guard. So a very, very good card as well. 90, er, then I've got, actually got my worst offensive lineman here. He's actually only 88 overall, Ryan Khalil. Not the best card. He's only a gold card, which I think makes people people laugh when they play against me because most people at this point are not rocking gold cards in their Madden Ultimate team. But to me, your center is probably the least relevant offensive lineman, certainly, and arguably one of the least relevant cards that you're going to have in your entire team. So that's why it's one of the last positions that I upgraded. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to be upgrading this for any, any time in the foreseeable future that I'm aware of. Uh, next one. Uh, John Asamoa at right guard, 91 overall, and uh, then I've got 95 overall right tackle Joe Staley. This is a really nice card as well. It helps seal the edge when I run outside, which is what I do most of the time. At fullback, you actually see the golden ticket Donald Penn card, and he actually doesn't really play at fullback for me. I very, very seldomly run plays where I actually have a fullback on the field, but I like to have him in my, in my lineup anyway because I think it looks cool, and you'll see why I don't actually have him at tight end here in a moment. Running back, still 99, halfback, Chris Johnson, the plus two speed combine warrior card. This to me is just a card that is not gonna be beat anytime soon. Um, 100 speed with the plus two speed makes him 102 speed. You, you just can't do anything better than that uh, for my playing style. This card is an absolute beast. Although I will say he gets injured and fumbles way too often. I don't know why. I mean, that could just be me overusing him or whatever. But either way, that, that seems to be a pretty common trend. Now, this 98 overall Josh Gordon card at wide receiver, team MVP card, this is one that I actually recently acquired. Uh, I think I've only played like one game with it so far, but I'm liking it so far. It's definitely the best receiver that I've had in terms of pure receiving ability on my team. Then I also have 96 final edition Alshon Jeffrey. This is one of the best blocking wide receivers in the entire game, and uh, I, I still love using it. He gets pancake blocks on corners all the time, and it's so useful for me. He's also just a good pass catcher, so I, of, of course I appreciate that. Now, at wide receiver three, I do run Trendon Holiday. This is the combine Trendon Holiday. Uh, he adds plus two to speed to my entire offense when he's on the field, so that that is a big advantage, of course, especially when you consider that I've got the Chris Johnson and the Jim Schwartz. And uh, it, it just it becomes almost overpowered at a certain point with how much speed that I have on my offense. Now, as I mentioned before, 
I do actually run the standard ghost Donald Penn, and, and the only reason for it is because I can't afford another uh, gold ticket Donald Penn. But this is my tight end one, and, and like I said, the reason for it is because I can actually then take the golden ticket Donald Penn card and put him out at wide receiver in shotgun formations if I do it this way. So the other thing that he can do is be put as the outside tight end uh, when I run two tight end sets, like when I'm running outside zone, for example, which is the play that you guys saw me run, um, the play to beat any defense in solo challenges. This card here needs to be at tight end one when I run that play because he's the inside tight end. And then golden ticket tight end uh, Donald Penn becomes the outside tight end then. And he gets down the field and makes the pancake blocks on uh, the safeties and the corners and things like that as they get in his way. Now, at quarterback, I'm still rocking 85 Walter Payton. And the reason for that is because I suck at passing anyway. So who really cares? Um, there, there isn't really much of an advantage for me to have a better quarterback. I would love to have one of the golden ticket, like the golden ticket Cam Newton or something like that. I would get rid of this Walter Payton very quickly if I could get one of those. But the, the amount of coins that they cost just doesn't make it worth it for me at this point. Now, moving forward on to defense, I have Von Miller listed as my left end and Elvis Doomerville as my right end. And the reason for that is because although Doomerville would actually be a 99 if I put him at left end and Von Miller would remain a 99 if I put him at right end, the reason that I like Von Miller playing on the left is because he actually lines up against the opposing team's right tackle. And that doesn't really make sense if, at first, but if you consider the fact that most quarterbacks that you play in this game are right-handed, that actually means that most people who play end up scrambling to the right with their quarterback. So that's why I want more speed on my right side of my defense. Um, although when you flip it around, it's actually technically the left side, but when you're, when you're looking at it on your screen, when you're actually in game, Von Miller is on the right, if that makes any sense. So his 92 speed is a big advantage. He is able to contain the opposing quarterback very easily. Not that Elvis, Elvis Duperville was bad at it. It's just the 86 speed isn't anywhere near as fast as Von. So um, I love to use Von Miller there. Now at linebacker, I do actually rock two Derek Brooks cards. Uh, the BCA Derek Brooks was one of the best coverage linebackers in the game, and that's one that I've been using for a little while now. Um, I love having him in coverage. I, I probably use my linebackers in coverage more than almost anybody that you're going to see. I don't blitz them a whole lot. I expect them to make plays in the run without blitzing. So this card is kind of great for that because he's still got plenty of speed and he does a great job with that 94 pursuit and uh, he doesn't really get pancake too often despite the 77 strength. So I like him a lot, but the other card, this Derek Brooks card is way better. Um, he is an absolute monster. He's got 90, 90 speed with 96 pursuit, 92 block shed. Um, he's even better in coverage. I, I think this one, like I said in my pink slips video, this is one of the cards that we are giving away in pink slips this week, by the way, if you can defeat me. Um, but this one actually has 94 zone coverage, which makes him the best zone coverage linebacker in the game, bar none. Um, he's also very good man coverage if you do that with your linebackers as well. So an excellent, excellent uh, linebacker card, probably my favorite linebacker in this whole game. In the middle, I do use Derek Johnson. He's kind of a budget linebacker at this point, but he's got 90 speed and I end up usering my middle linebacker a lot. So I kind of make up for some of his areas where he's not quite as good. But uh, the Derek Johnson card is very, very good. And then if, if where for whatever reason, if I have four linebackers on the field, this Patrick Willis is another pretty good one. Um, and then on the bench, I do actually still have Malcolm Smith. Whoops, I didn't mean to uh, leave my lineup there. But uh, let's see here. Moving forward then into the secondary, and this is where I think my team is the strongest. I actually have 99 Charles Woodson, uh, the Madden 25 edition. And then at third corner, I do also have another Madden 25 edition, Champ Bailey. On the bench, I also have another uh, Madden 25 edition with Namde Asamoa. So these are excellent cornerback cards. And uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, so then uh, the cornerback card, for uh, Patrick Peterson, this is the Combine Warrior one. It gives plus two to speed to my entire defense, and it also has 95 press, so I love having him on the field at all times. He's my cornerback too. Absolute monster. Uh, there aren't very many corners that are better in this game at, at really anything. He's an absolute beast all over the field. 
Sean Taylor at free safety. Uh, obviously, I lost this one in pink slips at one point. I had to rebuy him because he's just so ridiculously good. Deshaun Gibson, he's a free safety by default, but I put him at strong safety because he becomes a 99, and I user him a lot, so his 94 speed is definitely um, makes him worth it for me to use on defense. Then, let's see here, moving on to my specialist positions, I do use Matt Prater still. I, I know he's not the best kicker at 80 overall, but he's got 97 kick power, so who re really gives a crap? Then I do use Chris Johnson as my kick returner. I, I'm kind of thinking that I might just replace that eventually because when I play head-to-head -head seasons games and I play pink slips and stuff like that, uh, he does get tired too quickly. So I kind of think that I might be better off just using like Trinidad Holiday as my kick returner as well. So I might do that. We'll see. Then uh, for head coach, I do still use Jim Schwartz. I don't see myself ever changing that unless for some reason they put out another coach card that like gives plus four to speed or something like that. Um, but for right now, the plus two speed that he gives to my entire team, it just makes him unquestionably the best coach in my opinion. Um, you could make a case for the John Madden, of course, but this one uh, is it, absolutely amazing with the plus two speed. So last thing. The offensive playbook that I use is the Philadelphia playbook, and the defensive playbook that I use is the Chicago Bears playbook. I know a lot of people ask those questions, so that answers that for you guys. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to uh, also comment below. Leave your PlayStation 4 ID so that I can uh, contact you if you are the winner of the giveaway that I mentioned before. I also want to hear from you guys. What do you guys uh, want to see for content going forward? Do you guys have anything that you want me to put out any budget questions or anything like that that i can answer for you guys leave it in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel as well i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon